The concept for the digital twin came out of uh, my idea to try to explore the connection between robotics, AI, gardening and art. So I'm trying to look at that intersection between those very disparate areas and disciplines and say, well, the, the ability to generate a digital simulation of a garden over time would be a really interesting thing for people to engage with, particularly farm bot owners who are looking for interesting ways to use this amazing technology and provide a, another perspective on the gardening experience. This first iteration, which is the digital twin, which is your garden represented in 3D space on the internet, which would be a nice way for you to talk about your passion of gardening and, and also allow people to explore their passion of farm bots. So four team members on the call today. We have Jessica, we have Fan, we have Watik, and we have Charlie. Hi, my name is Watik Okesi. My role in the team was to sort of work backhand and uh, do all the API communications with FarmBot. So I'm Jessica, I'm studying a Bachelor of ICT, majoring in mobile computing. I was in charge of mainly coding the Electron application and also, you know, handling the information we get from the FarmBot API and doing stuff with it. I also was in charge of designing the UI and also implementing it. My name is Charlie. I'm doing a Bachelor of uh, Information Systems. My role was to work on Unity or the Garden View. Hey, my name is Fan. Um, my role in this project is mainly on the database. In the middle, let's say we have the simple JavaScript application that sends commands to the FarmBot via the FarmBot API. So that tells it to you know take the numerous thousands of images that it needs. Uh, once those images are done and ready, they're downloaded back to our app, and then we send to Meshroom. Meshroom is basically an easy to use photogrammetry computer vision framework. It's free and open source. Photogrammetry is basically the science of making measurements from photographs. It infers the geometry of a scene from a set of unordered photographs or videos. Uh, we get the generated 3D garden model. And then after we got that, we can load it up in Unity as Charlie explained. So the first step for a user would be to get a, scan their garden. You may just want to do a portion of the garden. So you input the parameters of the X axis and Y axis, click start scan, and that'll basically just send a, a command to FarmBot. Once the scan is done, you go to manage scan results. And from here, you can view the photos. Right now, we, we just have a couple of photos. It's just for a demo. But in reality, you'd have thousands of images here. You can also view the plant data. So you have the ID, name. This is the part that uses the photogrammetry software. You just hit start 3D garden generation. And then we take this 3D garden and we can uh, open it up in Unity. To see your garden placed inside a representation of the farm bot enclosure, if you like. I had initially thought that we would need to have side-on photos of the plants to get an effective red render, but um, we solved that problem just with top-down photos. I'm very, very happy with the output. It's inspired you guys and also might inspire other people to find new uses and new ways to interact with the farm bot, which I think is an indication that you've done something really interesting and really uh, profound.